and rulers and nations are called to account if they do not show justice and mercy and if they don't care for the poor. One of the yeah, there's huge a, There's a things. passage that um, when I was a little boy, I, I grew up Catholic, and they used to sing this song in the Mass from Matthew 25. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I yes. was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of your father. And that song would haunt me and haunt me. And I studied it recently, and the word for nations, ethnos or ethnic group, is that he's he's evaluating these nations based on their compassion. And I shared that with a very well-known religious right person who's very harsh towards the poor. In fact, when I spoke at their church, I remember one time driving with him, we passed some homeless folks, and he just put them down. If I'm, and if Thessalonians says, if a man will not work, he should not eat. Look at those bums. And just completely calloused. And um, I brought up Matthew 25 to him. And here's what he said to me, and I'd be curious what you would respond to this. Okay, Richard, yeah, you know, you have in the Bible here about concern for the poor, but you know what? The government isn't supposed to force me through higher taxes to do that. That's communism. I'm supposed to give out of the goodwill of my heart as led by the Spirit. And when you say that the government should be uh, doing this instead of the church, you're misguided is what he said. So he kind of said, okay, I, yeah, that's in the Bible about the poor, but that's that's the church. That's not taxes doing yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know of any church that would say, I can take on this poor family and pay their rent and feed them and take care of them because they're disabled or because they have lost their job or for any number of reasons of why people are poor. And it is an amazingly callous statement. Um, and like you say, on an individual level, this guy drove past the homeless. It wasn't as if he said, look, I take care of them individually. I'm going to slip this guy a $20 bill. Mm -hmm. He wasn't doing that either. So even on an individual level, he was not carrying out what Christ was asking. But there is no way that churches can take care of Social Security and can mm -hmm. take care of the people who are ill. Um, my sister died of ALS, Lou Gehrig's, and we worked really hard to get her Medicaid. She was under 65. And I remember how thankful I was to the representative, Steve Israel, from Long Island, who helped us get that Medicaid card when nothing, nobody was, you know, helping us. And my niece, who has never voted Democrat in her life, voted for Steve Israel um, because she said he helped my mom. And I said, yes, he directly helped my sister, Holly, when she was in need and said there was the church helped i mean the church would occasionally give them a check and they brought food but that didn't take care of anywhere near what their needs were so we could make a huge list to say can i stop global warming myself no but i can certainly vote for people that are going to make better policy to protect our earth we can was go right the down the line. Got, uh, uh, the Lou Gehrig's, uh, was that the same that was the conservative, or was that a different sister, just out of curiosity? This was the conservative. Oh, yes. was, that's, that's kind she of was, ironic. She was helped by the Democratic House of Representatives after we had yeah. gone through so many different ways of trying to get help, and finally someone says, call your House of Representatives. They solved this problem in two days, and we had been spending weeks, if not months, Trying to solve well, that's this really problem. ironic because my conservative friend that really put down the homeless to the point it was like a, a knife in my heart, I couldn't believe it, ended up losing their uh, their ministry, their job, their livelihood, and hit bottom and had to go um, with their family to a, uh, a, a church soup kitchen and a food bank and things like that. And I thought, wow, maybe through all this they'll have more of a compassion, more of a sense of... Uh, what they go through. When when I, we were with um, Falwell and Reagan, the influence of the religious right was along the same lines that this is the church's job, not the government, and to cut funding for a lot of uh, people that need help, like you said.